Is it worth the price tag? Hey guys. Well, I had originally planned to work on another puzzle for, for this next video, but you know what? I realized I actually received the package the other day and I haven't opened it yet. And if my memory serves me right, um, this is actually from another collaboration. And the company that reached out to me is called ZaraCraft. Now, I believe this is a new brand that's come out. I've never actually heard of them, but then again, I, I haven't heard of a lot of older brands either. But anyways, the Zara Craft is dedicated to creating high quality puzzles that offer both challenge and relaxation to puzzle enthusiasts. So you know what? That sounded pretty darn interesting to me. And I don't remember exactly the image that they sent me, but you know what? I'm, I'm not going to know until I open the bag, right? So let's just open this quickly and see what we got here. Oh, 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 stop. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is called Dreamscape Retreat. It's 547 pieces. It's in the shape of a hexagon and it's 23.62 by 20.45 inches when it's completed. Now the box doesn't tell me much more about where this image is particularly from. So I, I did a quick look at the website again and it says that it's a glass stained painting in Van Gogh style. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors. I love the scenery, of course. I mean, look, you know that's my boat. And there's my house in the background as well. I figured, you know what, it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Why not just take a stroll around the water? Now, obviously because as I said, probably twice at this point, I've never heard of this brand. I believe this is a new startup. And you know, I'm, I'm just really curious as to what these pieces are gonna be like. Does the box contain anything else like a reference poster? I mean, obviously we're not gonna find out until we finally open it, right? So you know what? Let's just do that and let's get a move on because I want to see what this brand is all about. All right, let's go. All right, this is covered in plastic wrap. The box is a little damaged, but I think that was probably just in transit, of course. But anyways, let's get this plastic wrap off and let's see what we got going on in here. All right, pretty basic. Oh, look, we do have a reference image here and this is pretty darn big well take a look at that I've had to bring my camera all the way up and this is this is basically the size pretty much of my table which is absolutely fantastic that's that's worth hanging on the wall but anyways let's check out the pieces got a little bit of puzzle dust here no, oh geez look what I did uh, you see I'm, I'm so used to, you know, having a basic plastic bag for my puzzle pieces, but this actually does come with a resealable bag, which is absolutely fantastic. And I've, I've just destroyed it because, you know, I'm a beast and all that kind of stuff. Why am I still trying to open it? Anyways, as you can see, guys, there is a resealable bag, but, you know, silly me. Uh, anyways, let's move on here. All right, let's oh you know what this is a very very interesting pea shape I have never actually worked with something like this before and now that I think about it I don't even know why I didn't notice it when it was in the plastic bag like it wasn't clear or something but you know I, I I've, I've had a long day today guys but anyways in terms of strength the taps feel pretty darn good they don't feel extremely weak obviously you don't want to put all your force behind them but you know that's pretty good in terms of print it's not bad it's not like very clear these are flowers from what I'm making out here I hope you can see I hope my camera is actually focusing very well but these are flowers here it's a little blurry I don't know I'm going back and forth as to whether these the print on these pieces is on a tad on the blurry side I don't know but in terms of the colors I think the colors look pretty good I have a lot of light shining from my window and what I do like from what I'm seeing so far is that it doesn't really have a glossy finish to them. These are very much on the matte side so that's a that's a plus. But yeah I mean in regards to the print itself I kind of feel like 
it's it's in between dull and sharp. It's it's not exactly the sharpest. Other than that, I'm I'm still feeling pretty good about it. What what I am not feeling too good about is really how am I going to fare with these kinds of puzzle pieces? This is not really something that I could resort by shape when I get towards like, you know, the end of the puzzle, but I don't know, considering that we got a lot of very distinct colors and whatnot here, you know, maybe it'll be all right, maybe not, I don't know, but I was honestly not expecting this kind of puzzle shape. So, you know what, guys? Um, not, I think I better get a move on here because this is a lot of interesting, uh, interesting stuff. So, you know what? Uh, let me just stop rambling. Let's let's just move on already. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I don't exactly know what I just did. So here's what I think I did. So of course the first tray, which was probably of course the easiest, we have all the edge pieces. Now for the next tray, I believe what I put in here were pieces that I believe were part of the water, I think. I don't know, I see some, some posts here from the path and there's some boat pieces in here I think as well, um, yeah water this next tray um it's a lot of darker pieces here so i have kind of like the dark greens and i think i also put pieces here for the house as well at least i think that's what i did for this tray this had all the pieces that had to do with all the flowers and it's funny because as I was pulling these pieces out, I don't know, something about it, every time I looked at them, it just reminded me of vegetables. I don't know why, like that looked like cabbages to me, but I know that, I know there's no, there's no veggies or crops here. These are flowers, but anyways, you know, let me move on. This tray, as you can see, are all the yellow orangey pieces where they belong, probably for the, the sky. It could be anywhere, who knows? And then this tray, we have more of the light blues with some of some of, some of the yellows, but it does have kind of like that that blue there as well. This tray was more of the darker blues, and for the last one here, I think I put purples and any ones that I really couldn't quite figure out at the exact moment, couldn't figure out where they belong, so they just went in the random pile, and that's okay. You can have a you can have a tray like that. Um, yeah, this this wasn't my greatest sort. Honestly, I thought I had a plan, you know, when I looked at the picture originally and, you know, I was like, yeah, I got this. And then as I was doing it, I, I blanked out. I have no idea what I did. But you know what? Hopefully what I did here so far is going to help me get started or something. You know what? Let's just start. As I said, I went into this with a plan. But as soon as I got started with the sorting, I, I went blank. And it wasn't just at the sorting, I, I went blank after I got the edges put together. Just looking at the different piles laid out in front of me, I just couldn't figure out what to attack next. Maybe it was the stained glass mosaic look to this image that threw me off, I don't know. But anyways, the only tray from the bunch that made the most sense to work on next was the flower tray. That had a lot of specific colors that I was able to kind of separate into smaller piles. But to be honest, the more I looked at these pieces, the more the print looked a bit blurry to me and almost dark. The colors just didn't seem as vibrant as the box image, which made it more challenging to piece together. But the other thing I noticed was the fit and hold. The pieces are cut well, but the fit was on the loose side. It was crumbly. I had a number of instances where I would try to connect sections to the rest of the puzzle and it would just come apart. I had to take it piece by piece at times. And this also added on to the challenge or patience level. And I actually started wondering if I would be able to complete this. I started off not knowing whether I was going to get in the hang of working with these piece shapes quick enough. The image, though extremely beautiful, had that extra detail of the stained glass effect, and it was a lot for my exhausted from the day mindset to handle at that moment. I was doubting myself. Would this defeat me? Could I actually do this?
And as the hours passed, I finally started to get in the hang of what I was working with and started to see this beautiful view take shape before me. My boat was waiting for me and my house sat in the distance. That was when I knew I was almost there. It's been a lot longer than a few hours now. I think I haven't been counting at this point, but I got, I think, more than half the puzzle done already. And, and uh, honestly, these these shapes are no joke. I mean, as I said, I've never worked with this kind of stuff before. And the fact that the pieces, well, the image itself has all this like, kind of, what do you call that? Like a mosaic look to it or something? Is that what that is? I don't know. But it's making it way more challenging. So yeah. I'm feeling much better about it now. This image is fantastic. Now what I have left to do is the top here. And, you know, we'll see how long that takes me. Because so far this has taken me quite a while. But anyways, you know what? Let's just, let me, let me just go on. Even though working on the first half of this puzzle felt like an eternity... And it made me doubt my non-expert level puzzling skills early on. My puzzling juices went into overdrive as I got closer and closer to the end. I'm pretty sure the first couple of days I was working on this, I was having an off day. Or two, I should say. But yes, we all have them. Between life, work, life, work, you know what I'm talking about. Honestly, sometimes I don't have the energy to puzzle. And my brain just wants to veg in front of the TV. I'm sure a lot of you do the same too, but if not, let me know down below. What do you like to do to unwind aside from puzzling? As soon as I recover from days like that, I'm ready to take on any challenge. And in this case, even though I felt like I couldn't or didn't want to resort by shape, I had to come up with a different sorting strategy to get this done. All right, this has gone super tough now. So what I did was to kind of help me a little bit is I laid all the pieces out in a single layer, kind of line them up a bit so that the lighter lighter areas are facing downwards. I'm, I'm sure you could see what I did here. And I kind of try to put the darker pieces together and the lighter ones together and, you know, that kind of thing. And, you know, most importantly, I moved it to this tray now because those blue trays on the blue pieces is too much for my eyes. So anyways, hopefully this is going to help me get through the last Last little challenging bit here, just filling in the gaps and we'll be done with this. All right, let's move on. I felt like that worked out pretty well, considering it was all that I could think of doing. But anyways, this puzzle took me about five hours to complete. And it felt so good popping that last piece in because I was finally able to finish my walk back home and brew myself another delicious hot cup of coffee. This is truly a very beautiful image, though quite challenging to piece together, at least to me. And I still wasn't sure if it had more to do with the image or the lack of, you know, the top-notch piecing together experience. And it did take me a while to figure out my true feelings about Zarecraft's puzzle. All right, I have a bit of a cold, so I'm gonna do this as best as I can without my voice cracking. But anyways, let's start with the positives. One of the things I really liked about this puzzle was the piece size. And another thing that was really interesting about it was, of course, the piece shape. It was challenging at first, but once you kind of like get in the hang of it, you get in the groove of it, and you know, it was all fun in the end. And quite honestly, I don't really remember having any major issues with glare. And in terms of thickness, these aren't very thick pieces. But they still felt quite strong, and even if I put a slight bit of pressure on the tab, of course not beastly pressure, you know, it still held up very well. And what I also did like about this puzzle as well is that it does come with a pretty large reference image. And of course, let's not forget, it comes in a resealable bag, which, you know, I know I destroyed it because, you know, I can be quite absent-minded at times. But yeah, another nice plus. And I didn't come across any damaged pieces, which was great as well. But aside from those things, I did have a number of issues with this. And number one will, would have to be the fit and the hold. Because you guys know how I am about that kind of stuff. Now I feel like the pieces were cut well, but the fit and the hold, it, it was just on the loose side. So it did cause a crumbly experience. And this was definitely a situation where I needed my puzzle scoop. And even using that at times, you know, the pieces would crumble when I would try to slide it underneath the section. And because it was a 
fairly crumbly puzzle, you know that thing did not survive the pickup test. I did my best to try to get a grip on the edges, but the pieces would just fall apart and before I knew it, a quarter of the puzzle was back in pieces again. And just from that alone, you know I didn't even bother with the storage test. And I did experience a lot of false fits. And as I mentioned during the unboxing, I did kind of feel, even during, you know, whilst I was puzzling it, that the print just seemed a bit on the dull side. It wasn't very sharp. So that's something you guys should keep in mind as well. But even with all that, you know, at the end of the day, I still very much enjoyed putting this puzzle together. Even though in the beginning it was, you know, really stressful, I wasn't really sure how I was gonna, you know, make out with those P shapes, but again, it's a beautiful image. Like always, I do my absolute best to pretty much make the best out of any puzzle experience or any puzzle situation. But the real question here is, is it worth the price tag? I know I keep looking over this way, I'm looking at the puzzle. But anyways, on Amazon, they only have, as I've said, this is a newer company, I believe. So they only have the one puzzle right now. And that runs for about $18. Now, considering what I experienced with this, would I be willing or do I think it's worth the $18? And quite honestly, I feel like it should be less expensive. And the reason why I say that is, I kind of felt like this experience was, I guess you could say kind of comparable to a Rose Art, which I know are less expensive. They usually range about $10 around where I live. And these have the same thickness as the Rose Art puzzles that I have here. And the fit and holds seem similar to me as well. Because let's be honest here, there's so many puzzle brands out there within so many different price ranges. And they got quite a lot of competition. But I'd be very curious over time what other puzzle images they, they'll come out with. And also, you know, I hope they do make some improvements to the overall fit and hold because I think that'll be a big plus overall if they want to keep their puzzles within that price range. But I'm curious, have any of you guys heard of Zara Craft? And if so, have you have any of you tried this puzzle? I don't know, they're fairly new, so I kind of doubt it. But if anything, please let me know down below as well. But if any of you are interested in working on this particular puzzle, because as I said before, it's, it's, a, it's a gorgeous image. I was gonna say something I shouldn't have said. It's beautiful. But anyways, if you're interested in looking more into this puzzle or if you want to, you know, keep track of Zarcraft as well, I'm going to leave a link to their Amazon store down below so that you can check it out. I don't know why I'm getting tongue tied. And if any of you are interested in making some puzzle friends, I do have a puzzling community that you can join and I'm going to make sure to leave that link down below so that you can check it out as well. But anyways, guys, as always, I need to get a move on with my next set of fun puzzles and work on my scheduling for the next few weeks but anyways i hope all is well as always thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next one